All right, guys, before we get into the video, let's talk about foottrading.co.uk. Every single method you see in my videos can be found over on the website with buying and selling prices for almost every single card on the game. £10 a month gets you access to tier one buying prices. That's icons, special cards, silvers, and Thursday flips. For £15 a month, you get access to tier two. That gives you live filters, gold chem styles, UCL cards, and our amazing area of fluctuations where the market is continually monitored for highs and lows. You guys are then notified when to buy low and buy and sell high, basically a really easy way to make coins. We've recently introduced a tier three, thanks to you guys asking for us to develop a bot, basically. We came up with a program and what it does is it pings you every single minute, pretty much. I think it's every three minutes. You will get pings telling you when cards are low and what to sell those cards for. I'm gonna show you an example of that now. I'll be right back. All right, guys, and this is the area of the Discord for tier three users. As you can see, it is pinging you guys with the current price of these cards and the live target sell price. You have to cross-reference that with what the sell price has been recently and use some of your own market knowledge, but this runs 24 hours a day to make sure you guys are getting continual deals that you can keep making coins from. The legitimate way, a new ping's just come up right there for new cards that you can go out right now, buy and sell. So check it out, get involved, foottrading.co.uk. But for now, let's get into the video. What is going on guys, welcome back to a new video on my channel, I am Fuzzball Shorty and as always if you're new around here make sure you drop a subscription down below, drop a like and drop a comment on the video if you want to enjoy it. Today I'm obviously going to be going through trading tips that Fuzz has told me to go through but firstly I will address the fact he's not here and I'm doing the video on his behalf. So we were playing football this morning, he had an injury, he's had to go off to hospital because of it but he's all right recovering and he's told me everything that i need to tell you guys to do for today to make sure that you're making coins on fifa 21 so firstly yeah i'm gonna wish him best of luck with his recovery and everything i will be telling you now has come directly from him so don't think because it's come from me that it's any less accurate it's all directly i've got it all in my notes on my phone just here and yeah everything i'll be telling you across the next 10 minutes or so has come from him and is going to make you coins on FIFA 21 tonight. So we're going to start off and we're going to be talking about the market trends, how the market's been affected over the last couple of days and how it's going to be affected going into the next couple of days as well with weekend league sell-off, supply and things like that. And then I'm going to go on to your plays such as silvers and stuff like that and what you need to be buying to make sure that you're making coins quickly and easily on FIFA 21. So yeah, I will see you in the next one. Okay, so it is now Sunday as you'll see in this video. And this means a few things. The market will always take quite a significant dip on Sundays because of things such as weekend league sell-off. This is basically where people have used their weekend league teams. They're now selling off their teams. So they've got coins, liquid, and they can build a new team for next week with tots players that are coming out or whatever, trading with those coins. But a lot of people like to get rid of their team after they use it at the weekend. So they'll start to have coins back in their club after selling off their team. And because this happens and a lot of players have been listed, it does mean the market will come down quite significantly. And leading on from that, score battle rewards. They'll be coming out at 1.05 a.m. English time. This happens every week and people who have played score battles are getting their packs. A lot of people are gonna be playing score battles more because tots are in packs and you do want more packs just as any fifth player would and yeah with the pack supply at this time with squad battles players will be listed onto the market and this will last the whole way from about the time it's released until the morning because people are waking up and opening their packs a lot of you know there's gonna be a lot of players that are getting packs and potentially tots that are getting packed and the prices are coming down of those players which i'll get onto the next bit of what players you need to be buying and the last thing i want to say is pack supply with it being team of the season at the moment ea are putting a lot of promo packs into the store sometimes lightning rounds and when this goes into the store they do always sell out as much as we don't like people opening packs with coins or fifth points it is your choice and they will always get sold out because of this lots of players are being put onto the market lots of consumables everything has been pumped onto the market all at once because of the packs and as this happens it forces everything on the market down because there's such a great supply and a lot less demand for the players at the time this can obviously change with SBCs and stuff like that but you will always notice a significant dip with the players being put onto the market from packs weekend league sell-off and score battle rewards so i'll be right back with how you're going to make coins right now with these different trading methods and budgets 
Okay, so I'm going to start off by taking you through low budget trading methods and how silvers and then we'll get into UCL and UCLs and we'll talk about how effective they can be during squad battle rewards tonight. With squad battle rewards obviously being an offline game mode, there's lower value packs and these are giving a lot of silver supply onto the 521 transfer market and silvers are always needed for league SBCs and all that sort of stuff. As you know down below there's a useful links and this will take you through silver filters. I will give you a couple in this video here about clubs that have been higher during the week and lower at certain points and we'll go from there. But that you want to be picking up the silvers anytime really from the release of squad battles into the earlier hours of the morning when people are still opening their packs but you don't be going much later and you always want to be looking at looking out for a 40 percent drop off on the cards so you check their price before and you make sure you buy no higher no lower no cheaper than the 40 percent of what they are at that time if that made any sense but you know what i'm trying to get out and for example huesca cdms and centimids were 2k plus during the week and Benevento defenders were 3k on Xbox overnight. So you want to be looking at a 40% drop off from that with rewards and from there you then buy those cards and sell them when they're up. With League SBCs and TOTS, EA are going to be holding off the League SBC silver supply. So with marquee matchups they'll like always try and give you less silver supply meaning it's harder to complete the League SBCs cheap, cheaply and that way you can't get packs particularly easily so this is the best time and with this happening it will always cause the silver prices to rise because there's a demand for them but little supply so next thing i'm going to get onto as well with score battle rewards is ucls ucls always hold a higher value than their gold card does because they are rarer to get hold of and they are needed for the ucl league sbc if you specifically look at the semi-final teams of the Champions League, so PSG, Man City, Real Madrid and Chelsea, with a potential UEFA marquee matchups SBC, these cards will be needed then, so they will be a lot higher, but you have a safety net when buying them, knowing that the UCLs do cost more than their gold card, as always, because of the league SBC. So make sure you are buying them with a low enough drop-off, but you do always have a safety net with the fact that they are more valuable because they are UCL cards. And if we do then go and get UA for marquee matchups, which we should with the semi-final teams, there will be a lot more profit to be made. But obviously that is reliant on EA and you don't always want to be relying on what EA are giving you and how to work around that. So I'll get back into the next trading tip now and I'll be right back. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be talking to you guys about is the mid-tier budget. And with mid-tier, you can start looking at fodder and you can start looking at gold chem styles. I'm going to start off by talking to you about gold chem styles. And this is the low-end mid-tier meta cards on the game, such as your Wambasakas, your Semedos, your Lorentes. And these players, a lot of people have in their club with Shadows on and Hunters on. But with pack supply, they're also packed a lot because of their rating. And with them being packed a lot, people will keep their new one and they will list up their old one with the Shadow or the Hunter on. So when they get listed up, you buy them down, down low with the supply and then you wait for the market to rise and you'll sell them for their value that they're actually worth, accounting for the fact they have a Shadow and the Hunter on. As you all know, Shadow and the Hunter does add to the value of a player because it boosts the key attributes that they need. Shadows are great for defenders, hunters are great for strikers, you know you know that stuff, I'm just saying it because why not? Um, if you keep wondering why I'm looking down here, I've got notes on what Fuzz has said on my phone and I've even got a piece of paper with what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, next I'm going to move on to fodder and fodder is always a play for this budget. The market will come down, there's lots of packs are being opened and players such as your 83s, 84s, 85s are being packed a lot. You want to be buying centre mids, left backs, right backs, your wing backs, your centre backs, because these are the most likely to be fitting into formations. Keepers always hold quite a low value as it is, because they don't get chemistry anywhere else on the pitch, either when you're putting them into SBCs. So, with TOTS being here, packs have been opened, SBCs are coming out, fodder will rise, because they will be needed in an SBC. So, if you are buying low with supply, you're buying them with squad battles as well because packs are still being opened and people are still packing good players. The deals may be hard to come by, but you will get the fodder players and you do want to be then waiting. You want to be checking their average price for the past 24 hours. Then once you've brought them at a low enough drop-off, you then sell them going into the next day for what they are actually worth as their price rises back up. 
So I'll be back now with a higher tier, sort of, you know, the higher mid-end and the higher tier budgets, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so the final thing I'm going to be talking to you about is a high tier budget and how you can make coins tonight with the higher tier and how with weekend league sell-off and pack supply, high tier will be very effective buying players like Team of the Seasons. Last week was the first weekend since Team of the Season and there was a very clear drop-off in these players and the market did take quite a hit from it. You have to note that this is always quite a temporary drop-off because this is the time when there are packs, people are selling off their teams and it is all sort of coming in around at this time. So what you want to be doing is checking the pre-6pm price of the Team of the Season players and then picking them up at about a 20% drop-off and from that 20% drop-off you want to be waiting until they've risen again, which they will because it is a temporary drop-off and then sell them going into tomorrow and the rest of the week as they rise. This is very powerful for high budget because there are a lot of coins to be made with the drop off and you are selling a lot, you are like a lot of coins involved so it's almost a guaranteed profit but you're using more coins in the process being high tier. So hopefully these tips have helped you, sorry for the quite scuffed video, I am just reiterating what Fuzz has sent me. I do have a channel myself and I will put that just up there, there, no, there, up there, it will be up there. Um, yeah, so apologies again for how scuffed this has been. The point is what he has sent me and I am just reiterating it to you and hope, hopefully that has come across well enough for you to be able to understand and what you need to do tonight to make the coins. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video of me doing it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe down below, all that good stuff. But yeah, Fuzz should be back for the next video and I will see you, well he will see you then.